thing with these stories, you know, you never know because you don't remember them. I know, no. no. That was Chad and I reporting. Uh -huh. I, I think he said that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, it's going <laughs> to uh, rain tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. Going to be a nice day up until that point, I guess, right? A little fog yeah. this morning. Yeah, a little fog this morning. We have uh, a dense fog advisory across parts of the area. Uh, we're waking up with temperatures, <clears throat> excuse me, closer to 37. And winds are in from the north right now at about three miles per hour. Uh, again, we are looking at some cloud streaming across the area this morning as we are waking up. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, visibilities are down just a bit as well. So current temperatures 32 in Bartlesville, 36 in Coffeyville, 37 in Tulsa and Grove, and then you have 40s down to the southeast. That dense fog advisory for the northern and western portions of green country. Again, that includes the Tulsa area with visibilities here in Tulsa at the airport down to zero now. Same with Bristow and Grove, uh, still water. Same for you. It's clear down to the southeast, but definitely the north and western portions of the area seeing that fog this morning. So as we take a look at your upper level winds, what we're looking for today is a front to be moving through the area. Uh, that front at the surface uh, is going to be bringing us a chance for some potential severe weather later on tonight. So you have uh, that moisture that's streaming up from the Gulf of Mexico, that cold front there, that frontal boundary that's pushing through. And so all these ingredients uh, are what are needed for severe weather to develop and what's typically seen actually during the spring with dew points today actually getting back up into the 60s. So we're under a slight risk in Tulsa with an enhanced risk to our southeast, northeastern Texas. Texas under that enhanced risk as well. Uh, portions of southwestern Arkansas. That's kind of the bullseye of where we'll see the best chance for any severe storms to develop. But Tulsa is still under that threat as well here with that slight risk. Uh, hail, wind, and then also the potential for some isolated tornadoes with these storms as they move through. So as we fast track and head towards the evening, the day is going to look good. We're going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies. It's tonight by 6 to 7 o'clock that we start to see some of these showers and storms then spark up here across the area from around that I-35 corridor eastbound, that's where we're going to see our best chance for these storms. Again, down to the southeast is our best chance for seeing it, but most of green country under that threat tonight. So here's 7 o'clock heading into that 8 to 9 o'clock hour. I would expect, again, some isolated showers and storms here and there from around 6 to 10 here in Tulsa. Midnight, though, for those far eastern counties of green country until all of that activity makes its way out of the area then after that midnight hour. So for today, it's dry throughout the day. It won't be until closer to 6 to 7 that we start to see these isolated storms develop. Uh, and so if you're heading out this morning, while you probably don't need any rain gear, if you plan on coming home later on today, you may want to have that with you just in case you do get stuck in some of those isolated showers and again, some of those storms possible as well. Highs today will be in the upper 50s to our north, low 70s to our south. I have 63s expected in Tulsa. Tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up closer to around 48 degrees. So after today's somewhat spring-like weather, uh, then we're going to be looking for a break over the weekend. Highs will be in the 60s and 50s on Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday, another blast of cold air comes through the area and we'll be looking at a slight chance for a little bit of snowfall. Uh, it's a pretty slight chance, but you may be seeing a little bit of that falling from the sky then early Monday. Uh, after that, then clearing out and temps in the 30s and 40s for the highs for the remainder of next week.